made it. We're in Philly. Um, how does it feel to be in Philly again? Oh my God, are you Sophia from My Great Challenge? <laughs> <laughs> Scott lived in Philadelphia for how many years? About two. I was stationed here. When he was stationed for the Navy, he lived in Philadelphia. We, um, when we're done with the flower show, there's two things I want to do. I want to uh, go see Rocky, but we don't know if he's at the Spectrum or the Museum of Art because they keep on moving him. I think he's at the Museum of Art again. And then we're going to go to the old neighborhood where... If uh, only there was a device. Yeah, no, if only there was a device. Uh, yeah, that way. So we'll do that, and then I want to go see the old Italian neighborhood. Okay. Okay. Um, you know where Gino's is and Pat's and, you know. Oh, I just remember, it's Pat's. Pat's, yeah. It's Pat's, um, the cheesesteak king, and the other one is Gino's. And there's one of the two that I like better than the other. They compete. I never remember which one it is. But anyway, we are on our way to the convention center. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see the crowd riveting content and uh, spent about four hours in the uh, flower show so this whole thing here uh, which is fairly large you can see is the convention center and the entrance is right here and uh, I got my tickets I bought them online uh, I paid $104 for two people so it's a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. Philadelphia Flower Show United in Flowers.
So what you just saw was the actual exhibit that's put together by the uh, Philadelphia Ornithological Society. And now we're going to see exhibitions. So this one is all orchids. So this is the section for floral arrangements and it's all bouquets, I guess they got a theme uh, that was tropical because I'm seeing a lot of that, sorry. And they have a table right there in the middle. And these are floral arrangements around the world and this one is Thailand.
everybody our favorite part, Tablescape. Okay. Um, yes, please. Oh, look, it almost looks like my china. Oh, grand. Let's go get a haircut. We are at the salon. So we are approaching uh, the winner of this year's Philadelphia Flower Show. We're gonna wait for people to move. Here we go. And it's a garden with a water fountain. And the garden is actually in an L shape. So I'll take you to the other side as well. But this is who won this year. vanilla plants I had no idea that's what it looks like it's the uh, vanilla is the seed pod of an orchid plant and here we go you're looking at vanilla
the rest of the expo is people bringing in the ferns and whatnot, and you know, Grand Prix for best topiary, best orchid, best uh, whatever. I'm still looking for bonsai. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find them, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get on my phone and call my mom and do a live because she's gonna wanna see all of this stuff. nice look at what she makes little garden fairies uh, 2.95 yeah that's nice they're beautiful look at what she does $295 mm. Okay, we got jewelry that looks like uh, butterflies, t-shirts, more jewelry. No, it's seed paper. Okay. Of course, they're selling flowers. Very nice. I'm still not finding seeds. This guy sells house plants, but I'm not seeing seeds. Balsamic vinegar, okay. Air plants. So a lot of 
nonsense. I'm not seeing any seeds yet. They could use a lot more free samples. Yeah, we need more free samples. Yeah. That was pretty good, whatever that was. Yeah, they could have uh, been more generous on the pretzel. Though. More generous on the pretzel? It is Philadelphia. Yeah. 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 I'm not seeing any seeds. Oh. Now we're talking. Okay. Seed potatoes. I said I was going to start potatoes this year. We are done. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't wait to get back to the car so that I could track my uh, steps. And I realized that I left without putting my watch on. So I'm hoping that maybe my phone had <laughs> tracked for me. Let's see. It says you can pay by card at the exit gate. 3,500 feet, that's uh, uh, steps, that's it. Uh -huh. it. Seems like we walked more than that. Anyway, it was it was fabulous. I got a few things. Um, I got two plants. Let me put the camera the other way. Maybe you can see. All right. So I got these uh, two plants to put in the kitchen, right? And I got seed potatoes to grow in the garden. And then I got a bunch of seeds. Okay, the lady gave me those. So here are the seeds. I got Chinese cabbage, um, this weird parsley root, you know, I like that stuff. And dive lettuce, uh, celeriac again, I'm gonna try it again. And then a whole bunch of lettuce, um, nasturtium, and then zinnias, and then nigellas, and mozinias. And maybe you can see the plants. A little bit better. They're supposed to be for the kitchen and the uh, shade loving. What did you think of the flower show? It was great. I would do it again and again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was pretty. They had some pretty stuff. That's that's for sure. What did it, you like I, best? I did a lot of people watching, to be honest. But, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, what did I like the best? The, the entrance thing. It's always the entrance is is always the best thing to see. That's true. You know, it's it always is. And some they always every time they incorporate the the U.S. map into flowers somehow. Right. So, you you know, like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> I always look forward to a few things. I always look for. So they didn't have vegetables this year, and they didn't have the flower boxes on the windows. I always look for the uh, uh, the Japanese floral arrangement, the bonsai, and I always look forward to um, the uh, um, tablescape. It was less tablescape this year than usual. Usually there's like way more than that, like the weddings and all of that, there's way more. So it was limited this year, but I have to say the, the Grand Prix winner I mean, this guy walked in knowing it was going to win anyway. I mean, it was so obvious, okay. Uh, but that was beautiful. That little British-French secret garden thing with the reflecting pool was absolutely stunning. Um, and I really, really liked the, uh, um, the all the hanging baskets in orange and pink. I thought that was absolutely stunning. Uh, there, there was a lot of things that were really really pretty and usually when we come i i kind of skip the uh, uh amateur 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 um you know prize like you know best daffodils and stuff i paid attention this year and it was actually really interesting um to see you know what made a flower or a particular plant win as opposed to the other ones. And uh, I took a lot of pictures, took a lot of videos. I had mom live twice. 
once at the beginning where I just did a run through and showed her pretty much I did the whole show with her and then I came back to Scotland and I started filming for you guys um, and then a second time around to see the bonsai and the amateur section and that was a lot of fun I like it I recommend if you're in the area even if you have to drive three hours you know do it it's worth it it's expensive the shops is kind of like there's some interesting stuff you pretty much want to buy everything but I think that within 10-15 minutes you get so saturated maybe if you were eating you know taking a break and then going to the shops mm -hmm. you probably would enjoy it more but for me I was kind of like all right I kind of want to get out of here we're getting hungry we're gonna go and see if we can uh, we're gonna check out the lines at Gino's and Pat's and see if it's doable right otherwise we'll just prop ourselves in some we gotta eat Italian okay we're in Philadelphia right Okay, we're, we're gonna find some Italian joint. Right. Because last time we were in Philly, I believe that we went and ate Chinese. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Which actually was pretty good. Well, oh, my mom was with us. No. Yes. Okay. Mom was with us. I don't think so. She wasn't there? No. Okay. But we did take mom to Philly though. Yes. Okay, so not that bad. I think, I think it was like back when we only had one kid. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Time flies. The one kid who's about to be 22. Right. Oh. Let's do pets. All right, we'll do pets. We'll do pets. Well, which one has empty seats? That's the real question. Okay. Oh my God! If anybody wonders and wanted to know, <clears throat> this is a uh, pets uh, Philly cheesesteak with mushroom, and we got fries. And his is supposedly different, but I don't see a difference. They look both the same. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to eat about that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. The fries are good, though. I'll give them that. Oh, yeah, but this show I'm doing good. I got a Diet Coke, okay? So, uh, health kick. Okay, so this is the mile long uh, mall thing where they have all the big buildings. So, you said what the one on the left is the library? That's the library right over there. Okay. It's big. So here's the art museum and the statue used to be on top of the stairs but they moved it to the uh, Spectrum Stadium and then they moved it back. All right, I have to get out of the car. Uh, so anyway, the statue used to be on top of the stairs at the museum and then they moved it to the Spectrum Stadium and then they brought it back and it's back again uh, but at the bottom. So we're gonna go check it out. Scott is doing the uh, circle and coming back to pick me up. Okay, so we're entering the Navy Yard, right? Yep. And so your ship was here. Yep. But where did you sleep? Uh, I slept off base. There's, there's, there was on base housing and there was uh, off base housing. I, I was off base. And so... Rented an apartment. Did you live there by yourself? Uh, no.
What's that? That looks like a uh, refueler or an oiler. Uh huh. That I can't be believe we just like drove into the base. Yeah. These are all mothballed. What does it mean? It means that they are no longer in service. Oh. Um, but they are here, you know, kind of waiting to be made ready or to take uh, parts off of should the need arise. Yeah, but it's still a base. Somewhat. Okay. It's kind of a, you know, kind of a low security base, I guess. So all those ships, they're going to be uh, taken down for parts? Yeah, they will be. And this thing is massive. Look at the size of this thing. So that's not an action, that is, that's not an offensive or a defensive ship. That's a supply ship. Uh-huh. Um, there's some warships over this way. This is where the admirals and the captains those nice That's, little uh, houses yeah, that there. that would be their quarters. He's talking about these houses. Yeah. Beautiful sky. Okay, so these are the uh, admirals and yeah, so they're, they're families and, and whatnot. So you might get a captain in there um, or something. Obviously, that would be higher ranking. So how does it feel being back here? It, there's, there's some memories. I mean... Uh, it was a much more active military back then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of interesting. Like, uh, just seeing, like, what they built up around the old stuff that was here. And then, like, there's, a, there's other parts of this where I just have blank spots in my memory. Um, you know, I don't remember what it was. So, what the building was. Did you or start like here that. or did you start in San Diego? Uh, well, I went to boot camp in Chicago. Uh -huh. And then, uh, and then we had school. So I went to, uh, Virginia Beach for school. And then they transferred us over to Norfolk for more school. Uh -huh. And then we came here. Uh -huh. And when we came here, the ship was in dry dock. And it was literally, if you can imagine an aircraft carrier uh, propped up on stacks of bricks mm. in, a, in a dry space, you know. So you could, and it was being torn apart, so you could go down into that, that, that pit, that, that uh, dry dock, and you could find a hole in the hull of the ship and then climb all the way up to the flight deck if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So it was, you know, they were doing that much uh, renovation to it. Wow. Yeah. And then what? Uh, and then we, they, eventually they got the ship to a point where, you know, it was getting ready to go. And they filled in the, um, the dry dock with water. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, that, that was for a little while. And then they, they moved us out to an actual pier. And then we started doing uh, sea trials, meaning we were kind of getting ready to um, to go out to sea. We were making sure everything works, and we were doing that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. And then the war. Yeah, that was a while afterwards. Yeah. All right, we're back home. Um, I just wanted to um, give you a better look. At the plants so I have to ID them because there's no little uh, label uh, but I got these two and then these are the seedling potatoes and they are German butterball uh, gold skin white flesh and again these are all the seeds and that would be it for today we had a good time <laughs>